Welcome guys to the Crochet Beats channel. In this video tutorial I want to show you how to crochet a hat for a newborn with two pom-poms. Really cute and easy and beginner friendly. Uh, you can do this hat really for one evening only. For the hat I was using yarn from Knit Picks. It's written that it's simply wool and bulky weight yarn. There were many discussions regarding this weight, so it looks like more medium worsted. So if you're going to use medium worsted, I think it will be just right. For the hat I was using also the hook 3.75, you can use 4 or 3.5. And let's check how the hat is looking on the baby. really perfect the head circumference of the baby is 40 centimeters as but the head will fit even 41 i think and maybe 42 centimeters so if you like the head and want to crochet it with me you're welcome and we are going to start right now i want to talk a little bit regarding calculation so that you may crochet the hat for any size. My gauge is 5 cm 10 stitches or 10 cm 20 stitches. And the hat length it's a well known number you can find it in the internet 14 cm plus 5 cm brim. So in total 19 cm Using your gauge, it is 38 stitches. The head circumference 40 centimeters, but I am going to make it a little bit smaller because you know it's stretchy. So we will crochet the length of the hat will be 38 centimeters. If you cannot find the hat length in internet, please leave me a comment and the size, and I will help you with the number. So let's start, make a slip knot and as, as we calculated, chain 38. Please go on. Now chain, we have chain 38. chain 2 now, only here we will do it, chain 2 and into the third chain from hook, 1, 2, 3, make one half double crochet. Now into the next chain, one half double crochet and in total you need to make 33 half double crochet. So this is the third one, third half double crochet, fours, now fives, six, Sevens, eights, please go on until you have 33 half double crochet and 5 unworked stitches. Now that's what we have and make 5 single crochet now. One single crochet in next five stitches three, four, five, chain one and turn. 
Starting from row number two and all rows after, we are going to work through back loops only. Again, five single crochet through the back loop only. And now 33 half double crochet and again back loop only. And if you have another number of chains, still leave five unworked stitches. Half double crochet, half double crochet, please go on crocheting till the end, and that's what we have now. Make chain one, not chain two, but chain one, and we will always make chain one. Yarn over and make again 33 half double crochet. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, and so on. Thirty three in total, half double crochet, and five unworked stitches here. Into the last five stitches. Five single crochet back loop only. Four and the last one five. Chain one and turn. Row number four will be the same as row number two. Five single crochet back loop only. One, two, three, four, five, and now thirty three half double crochet back loop only. Please go on till the end. At the end. So this is the last one. It's hiding usually here. One more. Half double crochet, chain one, and turn. Row number five will be the same as row number three. So we are going to repeat row number three and row number four, 33 half double crochet. Two, 
please go on after that five single crochet turn and repeat row number four like this repeat these two rows until desired length you remember that desired length was according our calculations 38 centimeters okay i did 39 38 will be also enough and now let's join so now you see we are at the bottom of the head here is our crown and here is the bottom make a chain one at the end and turn now insert the hook through the back loop here and through the loop on this side and make a slip stitch and that's what we are going to repeat back loop here and the next loop on the other side i forgot to to say that we are now on the right side and the seam that we will get will be also on the right side because it's important for babies to leave all seams on the right side not inside now let's join and make a slip stitch so you see and this is wrong side it looks of course better but now we don't care about it if, if only you are crocheting the hat for toddlers then this will be your own side. Please go on seaming and then we will close the crown. Here I am, here is the seam. So here is the wrong side, very nice, smooth and comfortable. Now you need to cut the yarn and leave a tail, 25-30 centimeters. I'm going to use yarn needle, you can also use a hook if you don't have a yarn needle. And now let's close the crown, just pull the yarn. this way you see these holes from front to back and from back to front in this way so in this hole this one is tiny and then this one is bigger one that is formed by crocheting the last stitch through the back loop And again, back and forth, back, back and forth, back and forth.
and a little bit more. That's it. Now pull the tail. Please be careful not to break the yarn. Pull, pull, pull. You need to feel your yarn. So pull the tail on the wrong side and on the wrong side. Let's try to close it even more. If you're going to use one pom-pom, then it's enough for you. Even you have a tiny hole, no worries, you can cover it with a pom-pom. Because I'm going to use two pom-poms, I need to close as much as possible. And usually I'm trying just seam the hole. It's not always that easy, but we will try. And each time pull the yarn. If it's hard, just seam both sides in this way. One more stitch. And let's look what we have on the right side. I want to close crown as much as possible. And pull tight. Let's check the crown. Oh, I like it. Now make two yarn pom-poms and the head is ready. Don't forget to weave in ends. I'm not going to show it. And here is the beautiful tiny head with a beautiful crown. So let's fold the brim. And look how cute it is. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial with me. Don't forget to wear this hat and dry it flat. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video. Uh, there are more uh, new worn hats on my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, please leave comments. I will be happy to answer them. And I hope to see you soon in my next video tutorials. And bye for now.